Good morning, happy Friday, or whatever day it is when you're watching this video. Uh, today, today I think I'm going to do a little DIY for Mackenzie's bedroom and take you guys along with me. I need to go to Lowe's and get the supplies. This should be a pretty simple DIY. Um, so I'll list step by step what I'm gonna be doing if you want to do it as well. So if you wanna see what I'm making, keep on watching. But first I need to share something I am so excited for. You don't even know, hold on. Just wait. My dad got me boiled peanuts. I'm obsessed with these. And what's so weird to me is, so I'm from Florida, boiled peanuts are everywhere in Florida. Everybody knows about them, everyone loves them. It's like a thing, a stapled thing in Florida. Stapled, stapled, stapled thing? I don't know. But up here in West Virginia, even Virginia, either people don't know what they are, some people don't like them, and it's not a thing. And they don't taste as good. Like I got boiled peanuts up here from um, this like little farmer's market section or whatever one time and they just weren't they weren't it So my dad brings me up bags of frozen boiled peanuts and I pop them in the crock pot and they're amazing. So let me know down below if If you've ever had boiled peanuts and what you think of them because I feel like they're just something you eat in the south and people love them, but Elsewhere, not so much. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my crock pot out and start boiling my peanuts. However, these I think are already, they're already boiled, so I really just have to heat them up so I can eat them faster. If I make them from scratch, it takes like three days to actually make boiled peanuts. Insane. So these are the Hawks Original Jumbo, Jumbo Boiled Peanuts in the flavor Cajun, which is my favorite. You could buy these, not this brand, but the boiled peanuts that you can buy at the store in the can are just not it. Like if you've never had, wow, hold on. I just stepped, I just stepped on this and popped it on the floor. <laughs> oh. However, if you've never tried boiled peanuts before, don't make the first taste test a canned thing of boiled peanuts from the store. It's not the same. It doesn't taste that good. And my battery is dying and I need to charge it, so I'm gonna charge it before I go to the store. So I got my potatoes cut up pretty small, that way they boil faster. I don't like for how they look because they're gonna be mashed anyway. And I got them soaking in water, that way they don't brown because I'm gonna wait a little bit before I boil them um, closer to the time that Philip will be heading home. Oh, I forgot to update you guys. I'm so excited. I got a fiddle leaf tree to go in the little nook behind the couch and I love it. Yes, of course it's fake. I don't know if I ha could have something this big and alive in my house for long. Let me go ahead and preheat the grill. Plugged. Oh, 
all the lights have to go off. So we've had a Christmas tree timer. So we were in the grocery store today and my child wanted to hold the avocados. That's a bite mark <laughs> through the bag. All right, so I got the pork chops on and you can't see anything because it's too dark. The potatoes are boiling. Finished product. All right, so Philip and I made this yesterday. It's supposed to be a little clothing rack for McKinsey's room. However, it is way too big. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure the part of the room that I want this to be in, and I think I'm gonna cut it down a little bit. So this is the area. Did you toot? <laughs> this is the area I would like this to be so obviously it's way too big and I think I only want it the height of this dresser stand cubby I don't know what you call this whatever um, so I'm gonna go ahead and measure this to this space if you hear banging downstairs Philip's doing stuff in the basement So my camera died, but we got this put together and I think it is so cute. Look how adorable that is. Her own little wooden dowel rod clothing rack. That was super easy to put together, but I figured this was perfect to hold like a few little things. So my whole plan and thought process for this little thing was A, I think it's really cute, and B, during the week, like daycare weeks, when we're like, you know, wake up, kinda rushing out the door, she can go pick an outfit out, whatever she wants to wear. I have everything already put together and then just put it on. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.